An employee is speaking out following a jewelry store heist at the shops at Palm Desert last night. We brought you live breaking news coverage on the story as it was happening, and then first reported on multiple arrests last night. News Channel 3's Maria Vichero show live in studio right now with more on the fallout of this robbery and those people who were arrested. Marion. So, John, I was at the shops at Palm Desert earlier today, and it felt just like any other day following that robbery. But one of the mall employees I talked with says she's still shaken up about what happened. It's scary to not know what's going on and to see people like I saw a few people running. This is security cam footage showing the moment a smash and grab robbery happened inside the shops at Palm Desert Tuesday evening. Riverside County Sheriff's deputies placed the mall on a short lockdown. Erica Petal works inside the shops and saw the chaos unfold. And I was told maybe you should try getting somewhere safe, like leaving the mall, that kind of stuff. The Sheriff's Department detained four suspects, a 21 year old man from Hemet, a 25 year old woman from Los Angeles and two minors. Investigators say the suspects shattered the display cases with sledgehammers and glass breaking tools, which echoed through the mall, causing panic. Some witnesses thought it was an active shooter but the sheriff's department confirmed it was not. I feel I feel pretty safe. There's a lot of safety measures and ways that we can protect ourselves as well. I think it was like a day or two before um, we had a training video on what to do if there was a, a shooter. And then the next day, the robbery happened and not knowing what was going on, I was like, my first thought was, oh no, shooter. <laughs> Luckily it wasn't. Investigators are working to determine if these suspects are involved in similar incidents throughout Riverside and Orange counties. The shops at Palm Desert released a statement in part saying, quote, the safety of our shoppers, tenants and employees remains our top priority and we will continue to work with local authorities and our security team. Live in studio, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3.